as Craig mentioned, I, I had the great honor and pleasure of working with Jerry on Sesame Street for many years. And uh, I also have the great honor and pleasure of being married to Craig Shemin, which makes me the unofficial first lady of the Jim Henson legacy. Uh, a job which I take very seriously, and uh, you know, I have my own little outreach thing. I just don't have the arms, so I, I lack in that regard. Pause for laughter. Okay. Uh, so, Jerry Nelson uh, was described in the book of Muppets and Men, The Making of the Muppet Show by Christopher Finch, as the Mel Blanc of the Muppets. And I think that that is actually an understatement. I think that Jerry uh, could give Mel Blanc a run for his money and more. Uh, nothing against Mel Blanc, certainly. I mean, I just, I watch my words. Um, and so it was in that spirit that I endeavored over the last six or seven weeks to try to put together a reel of as many of Jerry's characters as I possibly could. And it sort of grew and grew over those six or seven weeks into what you're going to see today. Uh, a couple of things before I show this reel. I know that there are some diehard tough pigs here. It is not complete, and I know that. <laughs> uh, so if you're looking for that character from Sesame Street episode 2725, you might be disappointed. And I just pulled that number out of thin air, so I don't actually know if he was in that episode. Um, and also, I know, uh, for me too, there, there's, there's probably going to be a, 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 an instinct to applaud for, the, for your favorite character that comes up. Um, but as the reel goes on, the, the clips are quite short, so you might miss six or seven characters if you do that. So um, laughter is, is, is more than welcome. Just, um, you know, that, it, the exuberance can be held uh, to the end. But anyway, it's now that I've been very humbled to present the, the breadth and depth of the versatility of Jerry Nelson. Fred, would you roll it? Ladies <coughs> and gentlemen. Here he is, the world's leading authority on the Muppets. Oh, no, not him. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, here he is now, uh, Dr. Jerry Nelson. Uh, thank you, Dermot. Uh, I've been researching the Muppets for many years, and I can tell you many interesting things about them. Kermit, <coughs> this is the most boring man on earth. This concludes today's lecture. Oh, Mr. Cowboy, no. I don't want you to feel bad. You is you? Right. So, who is me? Oh, it is imperative that you pay very close attention during briefings. Do you realize we're playing Beethoven? Oh, yeah? Who's winning? We take you now to come at the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Well, shall we get on with it?
Make a note. See if we own the frog. If not, take an option. Listen to the frog. He's right. Actually, I spent the night alone. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. Come on, Marvin. How about some time off? Tune in next week when you'll hear Dr. Bob! <laughs> oh, good thing I landed on something soft. Show me a lifeline. Sing fast. This is Louis Gonzaga. Welcome you to the wild world of Muppet Sport. I am a lineman for the county. Thank you, Cammy. Yeah? There's an uh, opera for little frogs like me, too. Really? Low and green. <laughs> wow, well, we're sure having some fun tonight, huh? If you like that act, you're going to love mine. That's your whole act. Good luck. There go two of the nicest folk on the river. Mmm, I smell good enough to eat. Barbecue. <laughs> I could kill for some chocolate chip cookies. Ice cream. This is cottage cheese. Oh, oh peanut butter sandwich. Oh, we just yeah. want a toothpick sandwich and a, and a peanut butter and jelly. Oh, me and Chuck's going to lunch. We don't want to stop, right, Chuck? Uh, our point is that every restaurant I go in, I get that waiter. I never met a food I didn't like, especially with mushroom gravy. I'm sorry, but in this kingdom, a dog's testimony is not admissible. But that gentleman is no gentleman. Hey! Is this a TV studio? Quiet. What we must do is open our hearts. That's right, my lad. We could spread happiness to beat the bees. Yes, you're just as ugly as you ever were. I just took three months of surfing lessons for zip. Now, what can I do for you? Well, put me in overshoes and call me a duck. Oh, gee, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't do that very well. Uh, Something funny's going on around here. <laughs> oh, there she is, and what a beauty. All right, I heard there was somebody down here making a lot of noise. What, what's the trouble? She's got the shingles. Fifty cents? Good deal. Oh, play a pretty roll. This is a recorded analytic program readout. The world's first fully automatic psychiatric machine. You may call me by my initials. S A M Sam. A B C D E F G H I. Hey, you know what letter comes after I? The letter P, my favorite letter. F is for Farley. Excuse me, but are you the letter W? I'm so pleased you could join me for another alphabet chat. I guess we all know what we're going to do now. Okay, all you cats and kitties, it's time for a little addition. I am the Count. Do you know why they call me the Count? No. Well, that is, uh, I'd love to. Uh, sort of. Oh, what a day. Read all about it, mister. No. I want to hear it again. <laughs> I used to be a doctor, but now I'm a fireman. Boy, I'm crowded. I'm just a parent named Ross. I'm proud to be a rock and roll superstar, Gina. I'm delighted to be here. Aw, shucks. Get it? Not at all. Hi, Herbert Birdsfoot here. Sherlock Hemlock here, the world's greatest detective. Me? Yeah. Exaggerate? No. You snivelling coward. <laughs> Spencer's not really covered in my job description. I used to do them scales, you know, on the piano, that uh, do, re, me, fatso, laddie, do. Uh, I'm Ronnie Trash. Who are you? Some kind of bad dream? Ah, telephone. Good news, my boy. We've decided to stay for a while. But it hurts my back when you jump on me like that, Marshal. You obviously don't appreciate Grouch culture. Sesame Street is really nothing like Main Street. But I like being Little Red Riding Hood. Is this a club for people who like to pretend they're seagulls? Boy, I can't wait to play my nice shiny. Hi, I'm Kermit the Gore. Get my t-shirt ready. You have the right to scream your head off. Crazy Harry plays with electricity. Hey, everybody, you're doing a great job. Love what Thank you're doing. You. Oh, hi, Clifford. Hi, Listen, dear. I'd like a little word with you here. Another thing kings don't do is go thumping fraggles. The one who can go the longest without a diaper change wins the contest. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all...
of all, ask them why the aliens never told us what they wanted. We have chosen you as ambassador to our planet. Ah, we shall go out into the world. Yorga! Yorga! Aww. Look, Dad, there's a bear. No, Christine, that's a frog. Bears wear hats. This is not only a danger, it's virtually extinct. Me will return on the feast of Saint Lulu. Well, how else do you think we were going to get him in this movie? Dream another one, Clara. And I'll soil your towel! No, that's not right. Uh, Take 73. Action. What's King Midas's favorite vegetable? 24 carrots. Get it? <laughs> Mr. Springtime is back. In your dreams. I, I just want to say one, Nadja. Are you listening? This yeah. is very ultra. <laughs> yeah, Beard, but the one thing you got to remember is that uh, Utra's in. They like your song the best, Billy Bunny. Well, the hippity oh, hoppity, yeah. bippity boppity thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they mention that turtle at all? <laughs> yes, in fact, you know what they mentioned about you? They love how wonderful your shell looks, and they're wondering how do you keep it looking so nice? Oh, well, it is a nice shell, isn't well, it? Well, mm -hmm. the I manufacturer kind of recommends turtle wax, but I just <laughs> give it some spit and a promise. <laughs> <laughs>